Tomorrow night here at the Meadowlands, the feature race will be the Open for Mares, and uh, many in the field coming out of the uh, Cape and Cutter series from last week, which was won uh, by Annie Crombie. She's in the field. Lauren B., who finished second, also in the field. One of the mares that is not coming out of the Cape and Cutter is Pointer Hanover, and she is trained by the gentleman seated next to me. And, and Vinny, my first question would be, why is Pointer Hanover in this field against these top mares? Well, first of all, we've got another series coming up in a couple of weeks, the Overbid. And Point to Hanover was a mare that raced pretty well for us here last year, and towards the end she got injured, and um, we weren't sure whether she was going to come back. And um, now she's had two qualifiers and a race against the boys last week, which she was pretty outclassed there too. But uh, we want to see how she does with the mares here this week and uh, just kind of make a decision whether to put her in the series or not. Is there another spot that you can go into or are your options limited? Well, last year, you see on the program, she raced in a $75,000 claimer. This year, we don't have that class uh, here at the Meadowlands yet. Maybe with more mares coming in, we will later on. So I didn't want to put her in uh, way lower than that because she is a pretty well-bred mare. So we'll try it with the, with the better mares. We've got our work cut out for us. But uh, if she tags along and gets a piece of the, the action, we'll be happy with her and uh, maybe make a decision on the series later on. Okay. What about Annie, Annie Crombie? Uh, uh, she seems to always race well. Uh, over $200,000 she made uh, last year, over a million dollars lifetime as well. She's got to be one of the top mares of all time. She's one of the great mares of all time. You know, Breeders' Crown winner, Mare of the Year. Uh, uh, paid dividends for uh, Lou Guida and his partners when they bought her. Uh, she's, she's just tough. I mean, you hate to see her in, the, in that field uh, <laughs> if you're me, but, uh, but on the other hand, she's a great mare and you, you love to see her race. So, uh, you know, I have no delusions that we can beat her, but uh, if we stay close to her, we'll be happy. Okay, good luck tomorrow night. That is the Open for Mares tomorrow night's feature. Right now, let's turn to this evening's sixth race.